Okay. Wow. All right. So very, very good cards. Um, it's really nice to see all the court cards showing up in the upright position. And I do sense that um, for Capricorn too, all the court cards are showing up upright. So it, it, it's really nice and it's positive when that happens. Uh, what I'm going to say though, because all the cards are, the court cards are in the upright position, um, just be very careful about what you do. Okay, Aquarius. Um, so let's talk about the crowning energy. This is the energy influencing the entire situation. We have the seven of swords and the seven of swords indicates to me, um, this is the sneaky man card. This is somebody, uh, stealing away, you know, five swords and running away with it. Okay. Doing something you're not supposed to, um, being greedy or even, you know, getting yourselves in situations where someone might do that to you. But I feel that all the people that are around you are in the upright position. So this is something that an energy that you might exude or it might come back around. So you just want to be very careful about actions. I feel that for a lot of you, for a lot of you, it might just be, um, it might just be like, holding back the truth, like lying by omission, so that you don't hurt other people's feelings. Or it could be, you know, that situation where I feel like there's an elephant in the room and no one wants to talk about it because they don't want to stir trouble. They don't want to create a dust storm. They don't want to ruin the, the, the friendship, you know, or even the, they don't want to disrupt anything. So you're, you're in a situation where you don't want to stand out, where you don't want to kick up a fuss or you don't want to upset upset your environment, like upset the apple cart. Okay. So you're keeping, you're keeping something to yourself. I feel you're keeping something hidden or somebody is doing that as well. So this is an energy that I feel permeating through, you know, the next two weeks where there's an elephant in the room and no one wants to talk about it. So, um, that's what I'm sensing first. So let's see in the recent past, we have the two of cups. So this is a card about union. This is a card about a very strong soul connection with another person where you might be far apart. You might be, you know, in different countries, in different cities, uh, halfway around the world from one another, oceans apart, but you still feel a very, very strong karmic soul connection to one another. So this is like flirtation. This indicates to me as well, it is greatly built on compl well similarities Two people who have a lot in common, who have a very strong foundation, who have um, a very strong friendship. And they're looking at each other thinking, you know, maybe this can escalate to the next level, but they don't want to upset the apple cart. They don't want to do things differently because they don't want to ruin the friendship. So a lot of you are in this situation where you have somebody in your life already and I feel like you have somebody there's somebody circulating around a lot of you where you're kind of like they bring you emotional contentment and you bring a lot of joy and you know happiness into their lives and I feel that both of you know that you would be like a perfect match for one another so that's what I'm sensing here in the very recent past what brings you to the present situation is the seven of wands and the seven of wands indicates a situation where I feel that for a lot of you, whoever it is that you're interested in, um, there is some complications around, you know, this situation that is not letting it manifest or play out in a normal way. So I feel like this might be interference from your external environment. This might just be um, opposition from people around you. Okay, there's something going on where s things can't come together the way that it should naturally and beautifully and something that is really, really meant to be is being interfered or is being blocked by the people in your external environment. And I feel that it's not in a bad way, but it's more kind of like, um, it's a, it's posing as a challenge. What is crossing this in this situation is the page of coins and the page of coins deals with news about finances, about income generation, about, um, money. So there's some type of financial entanglement that might, 
interfere with the situation and that is why you're facing a lot of opposition. I do feel for a lot of you, if this is a romantic partner, for example, I do sense that there is a very strong soul connection. I do feel that the foundation here is the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody might be attached, you know, married, uh, going through separation. I, I feel that somebody is in a stable relationship and they've met somebody else that they have a very strong soul connection with. So there is this temptation about potentially stepping out of the relationship. It can come in from you or it can, can come in the person that you're in from the person that you're interested in. But I do sense that the foundation is so strong that I don't feel you are going to act on your impulses. I hope that makes sense. So I feel like there is temptation. There is a very strong soul connection, but no one's acting on it, mainly because of the personal sense of responsibility. Because the Ten of Pentacles, when it's in the upright position, it basically indicates, you know, generational wealth. It indicates um, freedom from financial worries, feeling very elated, very ecstatic, and having a very strong foundation on which you can build things of value. So this is a very, very strong foundation. It's a very strong family card as well. So I do sense that it's kind of like one of those situations, you know, where you're in it through thick and thin and no one is going to renege on their responsibilities to the other party. So it's a very, very good card. A lot of you might be dealing with an earth sign and this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I do feel if it is a romantic partner and you see this strong sense of, um, you know, this strong connection, I do sense that for a lot of you, um, there they they might be the the one they might be the main obstacle to getting this union come to come together okay for those of you dealing with an earth sign for those of you who are dealing with an air sign for example so gemini aquarius libra as a romantic partner i do sense that um there is potentially you know three people in the picture where you might be in a relationship, they might be in a relationship, and but there is a very strong soul connection. So you're trying to decide if you should act on it. And I do feel if you're dealing with an, another air sign, they will most likely act on it. So, you know, if you're dealing, for example, with, an, with another like Gemini or an, uh, a Libra, I feel that they might solicit you and try to act on it, okay? But with the earth sign, they are the main obstacle. They are the main blockage. So... In terms of what's coming in, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and the Wheel of Fortune usually indicates um, things turning for the, the better, okay? Situations improving, opportunities that will pre present themselves, and whatever it is that you've been feeling very stuck about, things are starting to turn and you are going to see major, major transformation happening, things accelerating and, you know, things moving along very, very quickly. So this is pretty much a streamlined process, okay? This is the hands of fate um, pushing you along on the path that you are meant to be in. So this is a very, very positive card, especially as well. It's in the... Um, upright position. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords, I'm going to say that I feel like something is ordained, something is like fated to happen. And, you know, it's it, it takes me back to a lot of the um, classic literature when it comes to, you know, books about great love and sacrifices and, and life lessons and things like that. And, um, one of the things is that, um, especially in like Greek literature, they mention that, you know, humans don't really have a lot of free will and that the hands of fate will pretty much determine your destiny. And, you know, stories like Oedipus, for example, where you can't really, where you can't really go against fate, where, you know, it, it emphasizes basically the the banality of being human, that we don't really have um, self, you know, we, we don't really have agency. We don't really have free will to, when it comes to controlling our lives. But with the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords coming out, I do feel in a certain way that there is a situation that is karmic, that is very preordained, such as meeting that perfect person 
and then facing a lot of opposition, facing a lot of uh, restrictions, facing a lot of blockages from your external environment. And you have to decide how you want to conduct yourself, okay? The Seven of Swords is about doing something and getting caught. And we also have the wheels of fate here. So it indicates to me, yes, there are all of these obstacles in your way and all of this opposition in your way. And so it's telling you more than anything, you know, what is it that you want to do? What is it like, what kind of person do you want to be remembered as? Because this is pretty much destiny at work here. And you might not have control in the situation, but you do have total control over your conduct and the things that you do and your actions, okay? So this is going to be a very, very, well, the next two weeks are going to be very important when it comes to your own sense of moral obligations to yourself to others and what you do is very very important so take keep that in mind and you know conduct yourself accordingly in a way where you are in alignment with your first of all sense of moral integrity and secondly that you're doing the right thing so that there is no I guess um, bag logged karma that will come back to haunt you okay so Whatever you do is going to be very, very important. And um, I feel as well with the Page of Swords in your external environment that for a lot of you, you are going to be able to find creative ways to get yourself out of this situation, okay? So you're going to be able to think outside the box because you're very good at that. And you're going to get some spiritual insights in order to help you navigate this situation and to get the outcome exactly the way that you want. So think on it a little bit. And, you know, ask your guides when, before you go to sleep, ask for some guidance, ask for some answers. And I feel that you are going to be able to arrive at some type of resolution to this situation. I feel like there's a lot of people interfering. There's a lot of opposition. There's a lot of blockages. Okay. And I also feel that you, there are like three people in the mix here. So... In terms of the advice, you have the judgment card, and the judgment card indicates a brand new beginning. And um, the judgment card is also a card about family reunions. It's it's kind of like getting the communication that you want, and it's um it's the angel calling everybody in order for them to have some type of a communal meeting. So I feel for a lot of you, this might just be you know if it's a work situation where somebody is stealing or there is some kind of misconduct in the workplace and no one knows what's going on. This is pretty much about, you know, the boss calling the meeting and the boss is going to figure out who it is that has been doing these things behind everyone's back. Okay, so this is like calling the meeting and everyone coming together so that they can decide on a resolution. I do feel for a lot of you, if this is going on in the work environment, um, it's creating a lot of um, hostility, it's creating a lot of resentment. And I feel that for for some of you, you might be accused of doing something in a work front. And <clears throat> so some resolution is going to be reached, okay? So I, I feel that if you have been conducting yourself well, things will turn out in your favor. On the other hand, it goes both ways. You know, the wheel of fortune, it doesn't discriminate. So make sure you conduct yourself well, Aquarius. And I do feel that I'm, I'm hoping to get this video published early so that, you know, if you're doing something wrong for the next, for the love of God, for the next uh, week or so, you know, don't just discontinue whatever it is that you're doing. We did just have a new moon in Aquarius. So it's pretty much a, the only new moon in your sign that you're going to get for the entire year. So what that means is it's a really good time for you to manifest things and to um, create opportunities for yourself, good or bad, for the rest of your solar return cycle for the rest of this year. So make sure you manifest positivity in your life and that you, you know, try not to resort to this type of behavior, okay? Because it is a sword energy. It is the crowning energy. So conduct yourself well, okay? In terms of your external environment, we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords deals with communication. It deals also with accusations. 
in this spread, whenever I see this person, I feel like someone is being very naughty. And this can be, you know, um, misguiding people by your using your intelligence to misguide, using your um, your you know mental faculties in order to either get at the truth or to conceal the truth. And it can go both ways. But I do feel this is somebody potentially very mischievous in your environment. Um, in terms of romance, external to you is an air sign. So in terms of romance, this is going to play out differently. So external to your environment is an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. And once again, going back to what I mentioned earlier about the love prospects, um, if you are in a relationship with an air sign, another air sign, I do feel that there might be some sneaking around back and forth between you and this air sign. If you are in, you know, a committed relationship with this air sign and um, you just want to be careful that you're not sneaking around, okay? Because I do feel that they're in the upright position, so it's not coming from them, but there might be some accusations is what I'm sensing here. Um, for those of you who are out dating, you have options between the earth sign and the air sign. And I do feel there is some type of a stall communication possibly coming in from the earth sign and the air sign is making him or herself available, okay? In terms of your hopes and fears, we have the Knight of Swords. And I feel like you're really excited about your love life. I, I do feel that for a lot of you, you're dating and you're having a good time and there are a lot of um, suitors at your door. At the same time, I feel like you're excited about something. You're excited about potentially catching somebody in the act. Potentially, um, this is like charging into a situation with your full energy and power. This is like it, this is like um, grabbing life by the horns and, you know, going with it and not overthinking it and just, you know, trusting your intuition enough where you can just jump straight into it. A lot of you are also hoping to be pursued. Pursued. I, I feel that a lot of you are hoping for communication. A lot of you are hoping for somebody to just, you know, jump the gun and pursue you. So going back to the initial message I mentioned about having this friend vibe with another person and the other per it's like you're you're both interested in each other but you're skirting around the issue. So you're just hoping that somebody would just go for it. And you're hoping that you can work up the courage in order to go for it. But you don't want to so a, a lot of you might be just shy and might be a little bit intimidated by this person in your external environment. And I feel that you're just trying to find the courage in order to, you know, tell them how you feel and, um, or, you know, for them to make a move on you, something really swift happening. So you're hoping for an opportunity where you can possibly have alone time with them or something like that, where you can express how you feel. A lot of you as well are waiting on some type of a uh, financial situation. This can be a job as well. And I'm sensing that, um, you know, with the seven of wands, it indicates like defense. So financially, things are looking very good for you. And I do feel that you're very much sought after with the seven of wands here. So if you're in a consultancy type of position situation, or if you're um, in, you know, work interviews or going through interviews for jobs, I do feel things are going to end up in your favor. Okay. But I, I feel as well that there's a little bit of waiting before the resolution will come and a lot of you are very sought after for your craft for your services and for your ideas that you're bringing to the table now in terms of the outcome the first card is the four of swords and the four of swords is whenever I see this card it indicates to me kind of like um, feeling a little bit mentally burned out and needing some type of rest okay it also indicates in this deck spiritual ascension taking a step back, looking at your life and figuring for yourself, who is it that I want to be and how do I want my actions to coincide with the person that I want to be. So this is a very spiritual card and it indicates that, you know, not jumping into situations with gusto and rather we are taking a moment and taking a step back to decide on the next course of action. We also have the emperor here and the emperor is, um, I do feel for a lot of you, this is 
I feel this is very strong, a very strong authority figure that you're waiting on. Okay, some type of a, some news, some communication, or something like that coming in from an authority figure. So both of these cards indicate to me that for especially Aquarius women who are dating men, I feel that you have your heart out in front of you. You're ready to give it to another person. And you're waiting for this person to make a move. And I feel like both parties are waiting and waiting and waiting. And you're hoping that they would make a move. But I, I do feel that, you know, this is a, a, a stalemate here. In terms of your other outcome, we do have the Fool card. And the Fool card is telling you, you know, go for it. It's telling you, like, don't stay in that place of stagnancy for too long. Because I feel the soul connection is very, very strong. And I do sense that the other person definitely feels the same way. I do feel that they, they feel the same exact way that you're feeling. So whoever it is that you've got your eyes on, and if you're looking at them and you're not really sure which way to go, I do feel that they feel the same way about you. Things are very, like... Uh, reciprocal I feel like there is a mirror image of one another and especially with this situation here so just be very careful that you're not hurting anybody in the process okay make sure that there's no you know third party involved or you're not like unknowingly making yourself a third party or the third wheel so just be very careful um, if this is a work environment I do feel that you are going to hear back and something is going to come through for you that is going to open up a new channel, a new um, path in the in the path, a new path in in your life. So something there's like kind of a, a breakthrough. I don't feel it's happening right now, but I do sense possibly in the time of Aries. So that is going to run from the Emperor is the card of Aries. So I feel like in the time of Aries, something is going to some major traction, some ma major blockages will be uh, uplifted. So that is going to run from um, March 21st to around April 21st. Okay, so there is a little bit of waiting that is going to be a little bit, bit frustrating. But it's also advising you as well to take that first step you know, take that leap of faith and especially go for it because it is going to turn out in your favor. So I definitely feel that, um, go for it, Aquarius, go for whatever it is that you feel you want. Okay. I, I feel that a lot of you, your heart is emotionally very invested in something and, and you should go for it because you are going to get very positive reception. Okay. Um, in terms of the work environment, I do feel that if you're waiting on communication, it is going to come through. And I feel that for a lot of you, you might be kind of thrown back and you might not know what to do. I also feel that, I also sense that, you know, once again, before you go to sleep, try to um, ask for those answers. This is somebody who is very, very energetically connected to a lot of people, okay? And um, they're either getting information from a lot of sources and they're kind of like the repository for all the information. So you have a lot of information at your disposal. How you wield it, how you use it is going to dictate the type of person that you are is what I'm sensing. I feel that a lot of you are plugged in to a lot of you are doing, you know, healing work, right? Like Reiki or even, you know, spirituality. And you, you have like information that you're dispensing out to a lot of people. And I feel that you might feel energetically drained as a result, or you're getting so many feedback from so many people and you just want a moment of peace in order to do your own thing. So both of these cards indicate to me, you know, getting too much information it's like information overload it's sensory overload so take some time to really um spend some time on your own or you know get advice and guidance from a trusted source okay so there are too many people in your environment that are draining you and it is really important for you to first of all go to the source of authority on a subject or try to figure this one out on your own because it's going to be so much better for you. This is trusting your intuition, trusting your heart. 
and going with it, okay? So I do feel that, um, you know, take some time off to get away from other people to decide what it is that you really want because once again, I feel like you have a lot of options on your table and the foundation looks very, very strong and there's also, you know, a lot of opportunities for gatherings and getting together with people and having meetings. So there's just, it's a very collaborative type of energy. And I do sense that you're, you're plugged in all the time. So it's really important to take some time off for yourself. Okay. In terms of love, romance and everything else, it looks very positive, but I do feel there is a little bit of a stalemate between you and another person in terms of how you express your feelings. And it's really important for you to let your feelings be known. Okay. Don't just assume somebody knows how you feel. You have to speak it and you have to operate more from the throat chakra. You have to communicate your truth. And you have to relay information in a way that is um, it so that it reveals how you feel, so that it reveals your feelings, okay?